so you know today i'm speaking to you because of your podcast called masculinity and i love how it's you know t e a t um yeah so like how did yeah. you come up with the name and i also love the logo which is also like headphones around this cup of chai um yeah and and like how did you come up with this whole podcast why did you think that you want to do it how did you go about starting it yeah uh, first of all thank you so much for inviting me for this place and asking me to talk about masculinity uh, i think uh, the idea of masculinity and having conversation around masculinity that also particularly on trans masculine person was in my head for long time now because we see there are trans and queer narratives out there but there are very less narratives or uh, conversations around trans masculine persons now the people are doing it but then also very less and while growing up as me as a person i was also not really comfortable with identify myself as masculine person because of kind of people and mostly um, kind of men i saw around myself in my family or in society i was very skeptical of masculinity but it was really important for me to uh, understand masculinity from different perspective because i myself identify as a trans man so uh, that was the idea that how about talking with trans masculine persons and understanding that how we identify with masculinity uh, how we think that masculinity uh, exist for us and what are few things which we uh, do want to reimagine about masculinity we do not want to carry the idea of toxic masculinity which we see in society so that was main thing and regarding symbol about having headphones and chai ka cup it was because i really love chai and i um, love chai so i thought that this is the space where uh, on chai we can have conversations and uh, talk to people and this podcast should not be just a serious type of conversation but just talk about different things it might be about sex pleasure it might be about um, just going out on trip uh, it might be about experience of some, anything in their uh, trans masculine persons life it might be around uh, doing a surgery or taking hrt or just uh, being in relationship with another uh, masculine person or talking about uh, their life experiences around um, different issues as a trans masculine persons we face so yeah so how did you uh, how do you kind of come up with like the subjects like you know do you decide ki like acha hum like we will talk about this subject today or like uh, do you just decide ki like i want to talk about this person and then whatever they want to talk about we'll talk about or do you think like no i this is the subject i want to talk about and then let's see who's available so uh, actually uh, the, when first idea came i was actually talking with different people and approaching different people that i want to talk with you uh, on the topic um and uh, in my head i was like the i will go uh, i will reach out to trans masculine persons and i will ask them that if we can talk around this topic that was my idea but uh, eventually when i reach out to people and when i uh, tell about tell them that i am doing this podcast and idea of this podcast is having conversation around masculinity then people had a different things to say they said that ki okay uh, you want me to talk uh, suppose for example i reach out to someone and i said that can you talk about caste and masculinity um, and your experiences as trans masculine person and how caste operate um, around that but that person had something different to offer me and they said that okay but what about if i can talk about uh, my experience about masculinity in this space then i thought that i will not be uh, keep myself limited to that and then i just reach out to people and i ask them that if you want to talk about anything let me know and eventually after listening to my podcast people only started reaching out to me said that ki vihan you are doing this podcast so i also want to talk about my experiences around this so someone wanted to talk about their experience of bodybuilding going to gym or someone want to talk about their work they are doing on srhr issues so it was all around like it I, it was not a fixed pattern but whatever people and however people wanted to pursue and my more targeted audience was trans masculine person so 
uh, it was like yeah, i'm making this podcast for trans masculine persons and people who are not trans masculine person who can obviously go and uh, look the podcast sorry listen to the podcast or access this uh, space as a space where they can learn more understand more about our masculinity but it was mostly targeted to trans masculine person so i feel that it was easy for me they directly approach me and i carry on conversation around it what did you learn about masculinity so far how many episodes have you done and like what are the things that kind of you know you felt like aha you know like you understand some understood something new or maybe you felt like oh this person also has this specific experience that i have and i thought like maybe other trans men don't have yeah so uh, actually i will say that thank you for asking this question it is interesting so obviously uh, when i started this podcast and i when i was actually talking with different people i was also sharing about my idea of masculinity how i identify with masculinity but while talking to different people and different trans masculine persons there were different sets of experiences and we all know that trans masculine persons come from different context different background so everyone will have a unique experience but some of the experiences like uh, in uh, for example to say that in trans masculine spaces also there are certain stereotypes which people follow as a masculine person or if you want to pass as a man then uh, if you can do these one two three things you will pass as a man kind of thing so why not put that efforts and be that person but while becoming that person one also harms themselves like if i want to wear flowers uh, and a very flowy shirt but i will not wear because if i will walk on the street people might misgender me but at the same time i don't really want to wear always black t-shirt or blue shirt or um, some uh, shirts which might be a masculine but i might want to experience uh, or experiment with different kind of dresses i might to like to wear a skirt and all those things so i think that those conversations we are not really happening in trans masculine spaces and we uh, have to means we mostly uh, have our conversations around that okay uh, how to bind ourselves what kind of uh, who who is the best doctor to go and take a testosterone what kind of surgery one should do yeah um, okay so if you want to um, pass like a man what kind of hair style you should keep but the conversation beyond that okay i uh, i will ri- like to wear hair link and it is my kind of masculinity that is how i want to express myself was not coming into picture and then people were actually stopping themselves but not uh, doing that experiment and i feel that that was different when people started saying that no i want uh, i like doing that or there were some people who actually started talking about how their sexual orientation is not a straight man sexual orientation like trans they are trans man but they also attract towards other men or also attract towards other people in general but this conversation is also very restricted so i think that here was the space where i also started talking about my sexual orientation not being a straight na uh, uh, sexual orientation but i do identify myself as bisexual so i do find lot of trans masculine person who uh, sharing about their sexuality um and talking about that ki, okay how i am a gay trans man or we also had a uh, conversation around how there is one father who had gone through pregnancy and have uh, you know, two child so the conversation around that what does fatherhood mean to him and uh, while he had also carried um nine months a baby in his stomach or while while have doing the pregnancy what was that experience how that experience can also be considered as manhood experience for him so i think that these are some issues are not really spoken around masculinity it was uh, good to have those kind of conversations and at the same point of time there were some conversation around that how um, i am going to gym it doesn't mean that i am going to gym to uh, do a bodybuilding and showing people that how masculine i am but what that uh, going to gym mean to me as a person and for my health or for myself to get that joy or some reflection around that how sometime some people had been uh, done some mistakes in being while being in relationship by asserting their masculinity differently or how by behaving with different people how they were so 
dominated or assert you and then haven't really realized that they uh, this is the toxic masculinity but while ha- eventually having more conversations around masculinity with different kind of uh, trans masculine persons or different kind of uh, men or people surrounded by them they able to understand that you know this is also coming from patriarchy and we should definitely not uh, follow certain standard of masculinity which are very very toxic in general so yeah i think that uh, these all conversations happened uh, conversations happens uh, i had recorded around um, 14 episodes till now uh, i am now planning to take a pause here and try to figure out if i can come up with second season and also try to see that if there can be something some uh, important things need to be tweaked into because one set of experiences we which are actually very in rich experiences uh, we had able to record and had conversation with uh, but i am thinking to take a break and then come up come again uh, with next season 